Hey, everybody. Today is Monday, April 8th. Hey, now. The Treasure Hunt Amusement Park is live and well. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, so if, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but when you walk into the Treasure Hunt Amusement Park, let me see what kind of a delay we got here. Hang on. Yeah, I'm looking at the TV. Uh, no, I think we're good. I think it's just delayed. I don't uh, know what's happening. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Technical difficulties, everybody. Hang on a minute. Uh, 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 it's never easy for some reason. Okay. There we are. Yeah, we're there live. We of course, we're live. Sorry about that, everybody. Was it a hint? No, it wasn't a hint. Okay. So <laughs> there's just a delay with StreamYard. Okay. So when you walk into the Treasure Hunting Amusement Park, uh, you're going to notice a bunch of rides. But if you keep going past those rides, way in the back, you're going to see a tent. And that tent says the invitation on it. And that's where the game is because I don't look at the invitation as a treasure hunt. I looked at, at it as a game. Remember the fun carnival games at the old amusement park, Capro? I'm talking about the ones when we were kids, like the real ones, not the ones they have now. That are yeah, real. like the ones that you throw the ball and it has to go in there without the, the spring in the middle. And then the fishies and you got to throw the little thing on the, yeah. on the seven up cans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yes, the invitation, our game, our treasure hunt is alive and well, and we're going to talk about it tonight. We also have some other updates for other rides in the amusement park. How's everybody doing out there? How are you doing, Capro? I'm good. I tried to put this, this on the TV, and I failed miserably. So oh, I can't hurt. even I get it anything. Oh, oh. <laughs> see, it, I you said it did work. It didn't work. It worked, but then it froze up and it didn't give me chat. So then why it's only going to distract me. And so mm -hmm. I decided that, that, that isn't happening. We have so much to talk about tonight that <sighs> we're going to have to go to two, two, two days a week. Cause there's so much happening in the treasure hunt amusement park right now. Um, and that's right, right there. It says Monday and Thursday nights. We're going back to two times a week. There's a lot. We are, on. but that's in the. I have a power. There was so much. I have a PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have a PowerPoint tonight. Bonus, everybody. Plus, guess what's back? That's right. <laughs> the soundboard is back. So suck it, everybody. <laughs> now, if I don't even remember what the, I don't even remember what the buttons are, but we'll get there. There's a few. I think I'm going to come up to your computer and hit delete on a couple of those, I will say. A couple <laughs> of those I hate. I hate. I know. And Cynthia yeah. goes, that's what makes it so funny is you can tell you hate it. It's not like joking. Right. A few of them, they're a little funny, but a few of them, shame on you. Yeah, as soon as I said it, Copper Dan. Copper Dan said, you're comparing your treasure hunt to a, to a fair game. Those are scams. Carnival games are scams. Our treasure hunt is not a scam. Our treasure hunt is very solvable. You guys will see once we have come out with the uh, solution. Okay, I have a funny story. Yeah. So you know the one with the spring in the middle and everybody loses on it? It's like the basket and has a spring. And you have to throw the softball and you have to make it so it doesn't fall out. Yeah, the basket. I didn't know there was a yeah. spring, but okay. Yeah, there's a spring or whatever inside. Yeah. I cracked it for whatever reason. I knew where to throw it. So everyone, no, everyone <laughs> came and they were like, can you win my kid one? Can you win my kid one? And so I won like 30 of them, like whoever would pay and I would do it for him. And they would get this huge like dog. He was a Bud Light dog, I think. A white dog. Anyway. You knew the trick. I, I knew the trick. And so after like 20 of them, security came and they were like, you, you're not allowed to play this anymore. Uh, I'm like, just, no way. It's like the casino. They don't want you to win. If you win too much, yeah. they escort you out. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so we yes, have, you will address that, Troy. Thank you. Yes. So we have so much tonight. So we are going to do the first half is going to be on the invitation. And we're going to let you know how the invitation is going to move to Thursday. So then it makes it easier than doing this because we have some Forest Fen Chase news and because we have some JCB news. Uh, maybe some we breaking wanna, news. Yeah. Yeah, there's some pretty good stuff happening. Um, so uh, let's let's get started because I think it's going to be a long show. Hey, Mind Games. We were just talking about that. So thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you in the chat. We are live on YouTube and live on Facebook simultaneously because oh. that's how we roll nowadays. Um, is that the Annoy K-Pro soundboard? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes for sure. See, I'm not um, seeing any of that. Something's wrong now. You don't see the chat? 
Well, we're in stream. Well, no, it's on YouTube. You don't see the chat on YouTube. I see the last one I see is Nikki saying hi, guys. Whatever are you're you seeing, updated? Seeing. are you updated? Like at the top, are you playing it currently? Yeah, so is you yours over on on Facebook? Is that why? No, 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 no. What in the hell is going oh, on? Oh wait, wait, wait. If somebody, no, all these are comments. Yeah, the last comments from why must okay, I? Okay, there it goes. I restarted. I, I restarted. Okay. All right, oh, where do we start, that. K-Pro? Well, actually, we're going to start with the invitation because somebody already reached out to me and said, I don't have time to listen to your hour-long Monday program. Right. Can you make the invitation a separate video? So what we're going to do is we're going to do all the invitation game treasure hunt stuff up front. And even in the PowerPoint, it tells you, okay, that's it. You can drop off now. So let's jump right into it. Unless These you got anything people else. are mean. They thought I wasn't in. They're saying, say anything you want. If I super chat <laughs> or you play the one I hate the most, I don't think Mike knows which one I hate the most. There's like a top three. You can guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the invitation made its way to Canada. Okay. But yeah, nice. let's jump in because we've got Good. so much to talk about. So much. So much. I think Breaking the books news. have been delivered. But yeah, let's, let's go and do it. So go right into the PowerPoint or what? K-Pro, everybody thumbs up because K-Pro actually made an awesome looking PowerPoint. I made a PowerPoint because there's that much that happens. We're, it's only because my brain can't follow it. I'm not smart enough. I need a crutch. So, I, yeah, that's, it helps me give away along. puzzles today in the book. We're doing all kinds of stuff tonight. I know. Some people Denise aren't going to be happy. Bagley, shout out to Denise who went to Santa Fe, who went live from a Collective Works bookstore, went live from Forest Fens Gate. She's doing it. Uh, you should team up with Brutal Truth Greg. Who knows what you could do? All right. Uh, hey, Denise, how you doing? Um, uh, I think someone else is there, Denise, and we'll talk about that tonight, too. Oh, suspicious. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, again, thank you for joining, everybody. If you give the video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, because whenever there is breaking news for any of these treasure hunts, we go live, just like we did. Was it Saturday when we went live yes. with the GCP? Yes. Treasureinside.com. That was breaking news. And yes. Troy had some breaking news too, but we'll get to that. First, let's do the invitation as we promised. So yes, we have we have screen captured his uh, with permission. He has said we can share it, um, but we want you to go subscribe to his YouTube channel too because he's bringing info to the community in right. real time. He's a good guy. Let's go. Let's go. All right, all right here we go. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the PowerPoint, all kinds of stuff. All right, here's the agenda, everybody. The invitation, the show schedule, meaning our live YouTube show, the chase, and then there's treasure inside, the JCB hunt. Just a little one at the end. Yeah, and we have a cutoff where we don't talk about the invitation anymore. So if anybody wants to drop off, but starting this week, we'll do a separate show to keep it separate for you hardcore invitation people that don't want any of the other fluff. That JCB hunt, that's just fluff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to email this to everybody and give them the times of just the invitation info, which oh, starts right now. Okay. Right. Uh, so we had an issue where I, even though everybody that pre-ordered got their book mailed on the same day, my, that Monday, April 1st, like I promised everybody, some people got them in two or three days and some people didn't get them till today. So we can't, I can't control the post office guys. Uh, we used all first class, what do you call it? First class um, priority tracking priority mail, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, envelopes, the pre pre envelopes they use. Some people got them late. So because they did, because they got them late to give them something to work on, we'll go over what we did for everybody. Um, we're going to go over the hint, the Q&A, email me, errors, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, all you're right. kind of giving away the slides. Okay, let's start. All right. Bam. Why did the PowerPoint cross the road? Okay. Uh-oh, okay. here we go. To get to the other slide, I bet it's to get to the other slide. Just occurred to me. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Okay. So like Mike said, no matter how Thank much you. you try to plan, USPS. Sorry. <laughs> USPS is not perfect. And we had four or five people or a few people. Their book was either delayed. It. We actually have tracking on it. And it's saying it's like sitting so far from them. So here's what we decided to do. And this is going to help illustrate what we mean by interactive. When Mike says it's the game, this is why it's not just a treasure hunt. It's kind of interactive. So here is our double entendre, which Mike, you can talk to. So this is what we did. We, we said we were given an email to everybody on Saturday. Here's what you should have gotten. So Mike, go. All right. And just to give you an example, uh, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I emailed the book to somebody in Texas. It, it, the post office ships it up to a distribution center in New York. 
And then all the way down to Texas. Why? I have no idea. But they didn't get the book until today, unfortunately. So what we decided to do is we gave everybody what we thought was a very easy thing to figure out. But some people figured it out and some people didn't. This email that is in our book, John 1920, 15, 12, 52, 15, 24. That's a real email. You're supposed to email that email, that email at gmail.com. So now everybody in the world has it because we know millions of people watch this show, which is fine. If you email that, you will get an auto reply back. And the auto reply is our book. Wait for it on YouTube. We actually put all of the chapters up in YouTube using the AI pictures that everybody loved, using an AI voice where you could just put it on and listen to it while you're working, you're doing your thing. So, and obviously the people that didn't get the book didn't have that. So that's why we shared it with everybody who bought the book. And that way they would have something to listen to and watch while they were waiting for their book to come in the mail. And the one thing you should note is it is not possible to solve that. We don't believe it's possible to get to the proxy and solve this hunt by just the videos alone. Um, so those are just kind of, you, you can't yeah. 100%. You cannot solve our right. game, the invitation with just the YouTube videos, just so you know, but it is a fun thing. You, maybe you could watch YouTube videos and then decide, maybe you'll decide, Oh, I do want to order the book. This well, and one of the story. reasons is Copper Dan was on, I think it was George Ward. And he said, I'm an artist and I like to have my podcast on with my headphones on and mm -hmm. work and have something to listen to. So this would be perfect for him. Okay. This might be the worst ending since Charade. I wonder what treasure hunt we were referring to there. Okay. So no, we're not selling. No, we just gave them away for free, Dan. Everybody can now email that. And well, you see, now I say it differently. Yes, we're selling them for nineteen ninety five or twenty nine ninety five, and you get the, the book price. in the mail too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can now share the YouTube links. Obviously, should we just make them public? I wonder the YouTube videos. Nah, make them email. That's part of the game, which we thought would be fun. You actually yeah. have to email John. And for you cipher sleuthers out there, Capro's going to go into this. But those numbers translate the letters, and you get a fun little message. And in, in our story, the invitation. Well, so you guys let them do that. So um, here is what happened. So somebody, take this down for a second. Okay. Someone emailed me and said, I know you guys all know each other, but you are saying that um, even K-Pro can solve it. Aren't you a PhD? And da, 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 I've heard you know a little bit about you, but I really don't know you. Is it's it like, crutch. what does a cipher mean to you? Like you say advanced ciphers, what does that mean? So there, we are going to give away what a K-Pro cipher is tonight. And this will be the only other hint. And then you guys are on your own. Um, but it's one that I think most people have. And it just shows to me what a cipher, this is officially a cipher, but I don't really consider it a cipher. I, I consider it easy. So we're going to go into one other um, part of the book and we will give away, breaking news, we're going to give away the general location of the proxy item. Breaking news, everybody. So, because Dan didn't want to type it out, and neither did Alan, I put the email in the chat. Email that email address, you will get a return that links all the YouTube videos, okay? So that is our book on YouTube being read by AI. You see some awesome AI pictures. It's all part of the price of admission into the tent, and you guys are getting it for free. So maybe you could read it, watch it, and then make up your own mind if you want to order the book. Yes, the book yeah. can still be ordered. We still have some available. Again, there's another video, which I'll post a link on how you order it. Okay. Yeah. Now, Paul Seeker says, why are you giving the approximate location? I will say this for myself is because a couple of people have solved the puzzle in the book, which we're going to go over. That gives you the location, but it gives you a county. And a lot of people are like, but there's that county is in multiple places in the U.S. So how do I know for sure where it is? And what we did, what me and K-Pro did not want to happen is we don't want somebody to waste time and money going boots on the ground in the wrong state. So right? the county, you, there is more of the county that mm -hmm. there's more, the name of the county resides in several states. Right. But also we have been working with some media and some of the media has been asking, can you give us a general location? And if you do, we can promote it then. And we did not anticipate that. We do think this is the easiest puzzle in the book, but it's right. going to, and it also, I didn't want to give anybody an advantage that happens to know me of what this cipher means. Like, what does cipher mean to you? What do you mean by advanced cipher? Okay. Here come the super chats, K Pro. 3D Bronze, who's going to be at the World Series of Fan, everybody? Mike, can you play an inappropriate soundboard track? Well, maybe I can. You can say no, that's just a question. You bang my dead wife? There it is, everybody. <laughs> 
since you stepped on it. You bang my dead wife? It's a question. Some people ask. All right. Thank you for the super chat. Three. Um, just remember, we do have some children treasure hunters in That's the true. amusement That's... park. How dare you, 3D Braun? should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's a pretty sweet looking chest. If you guys don't know, 3D Bronze does 3D printing. And that picture of that treasure chest, he created it life size. Pretty awesome. Well, do Great. you know that he's actually like foundry working now? Like he's, he just oh, dropped the right? video. Yeah. Oh, wow. But let's keep going. We'll talk about all that after the invitation. This is serious business, Mike. Serious business. Yes, Sam. Alpha numeric easy. And it's so easy. We're going to show you right now how easy it is. 3dbronze.com, everybody. 3dbronze.com. Thank you. Okay. For uh, let's get back to it. Boom. Okay, so there, there's the three or four reasons why we already had this kind of teed up that we were going to be sharing this relatively soon. We know a majority of you have it, but if you haven't, this will also help you know how you should be looking at this book. Okay, next slide. Yeah, when you see something, try it. That's the easiest way I can say it. That's why I call it a game and not so much a treasure hunt. It's interactive. There's things you have to do. All right. Hey, Lorraine, how's it going? Okay, this is what we call the K-Pro Cypher. Um, do you remember what chapter this was in offhand, K-Pro? I think it's right. on page 44, 42, 44. 44. Okay, so let's... Yeah, go ahead. So this is the chapter where um, the six of the competitors are heading down to the Onion Steakhouse, right. and they decide to stop at Roulette. And when they do, each of them put two... Uh, put bets down on two different roulette numbers, except for, I think it was Jacob at the end, only got one down before they said no more bets. So if you go in order, and I underline them, if you go in order, the first person bet three and 12, and the second person bet one and 18, and you just go through, and if you just wrote out all of those numbers. That's and it. Then you said, huh? I said, that's it. It's that easy. Yeah. So, well, let me walk it through just in case, because we do have some kids watching because I know they're watching. Um, hello, Sophie. Um, and so if you take the number three, what letter of the alphabet is three? A, B, C. So that becomes the C. The 12th letter of the alphabet is L. The first letter of the alphabet is A. And it spells out Clark County. Those of you that don't know where Las Vegas, Nevada's county is, it is in Clark County. And there you go. If you don't know, you can simply look up a number substitution cipher. And all you're doing is A equals 1, B equals 2. It's just that simple. There's no shifting. There's no, you know, it is a substitution cipher. But anyway, these are commonly out there. But parents, if you're having your kids work on this, have them write it out. It's more fun that way. So again, you take the numbers. It's even in order. We didn't even anagram it. It's in order. It spells out Clark County. Clark CTY, I believe. But so some people, go ahead. I was going to say, Copper Dan said, I thought you said no advanced ciphers. So for someone like Copper Dan, if this is advanced to them, God bless you. But in my opinion, this is not. So now we have fully defined what uh, that type of cipher. You don't need a key. You don't need a you don't right. need a crypto site that does whatever and makes stuff come out and all answers. You don't need any of that. So A1, Z26, substitution cipher, exactly what Holy said. Those right. are the types of things that you will see in the book. I don't think there's anything that is super difficult. It's like this. So this will give you some good example, a good example. And this last one where you just email the email in the book. What? Brian says, I should have tried this. Uh, so, yes. And some people were like, yes, it's Clark County, but there's multiple. Could you confirm? Yes, right. we will confirm. It is in Clark County, Nevada, everybody. We yep. thought, and if you guys notice, and this is something else I'll say, which I don't even know if Capro caught this. Everything in the story, we change. We change the name, right? It's not Harry Reid at National International Airport. It's Larry Reid International Airport. But one thing we did not change is Las Vegas, Nevada. It is Las Vegas, Nevada in the book. And that was a little hint that it is Clark County, uh, Nevada, not a Clark County somewhere else. We're confirming it now. And it will be fun because what somebody just said is so it can be played at the world series of fen it can be if you come out here and it has not been found by then what a perfect time to go boots on the ground so there you go all right so i hope you like a simple uh little puzzle like that and uh so no more hints though you guys stop it stop it hard. stop it no more hints okay let's just keep going because we have a few more things with the invitation and then okay. we have some other things going on some things you're going to want to hear, I think, about other treasure hunts. Yeah. All right, let me get back to it. 
Thank you, Capro, for an awesome uh, PowerPoint. Uh, and you even have it right down here on the bottom. I didn't even see this. There yeah. it is. Clark County. Those are the letters. Okay. Easy peasy. Let even a kid could do it. Even I think so. Okay. Okay. So here was a few of the questions and I'm sorry. Um, some came in during, I didn't answer questions that had not been answered before in the speakeasy. So if I missed one, just put it in the comment section and we'll continue to answer these. So the first question was, is do you have to pay to get to the proxy? Is there like a park entrance fee or a water slide entrance fee? Or a, if it's in a movie theater, you have to pay in the movie theater, whatever it is. And the answer is no, it is free to access. Is that a good way of saying it? Yeah, you don't have to pay to go anywhere. Let me repeat yeah. that. You don't have to pay to go anywhere that you need to for the, the invitation. Yes. Okay. And then the second is, is your hunt an arm, armchair hunt? Miriam asked Troy and Troy asked me and emailed me. And here's the answer. No, you are going to need, um, there are several definitions of armchair hunt and I would not consider this one. I mean, you can solve a lot from home, but you're going to need to get boots on the ground, right? Yes, you've got to go boots on the ground. Uh, yes, yeah, you have to go boots on the ground. It is not an armchair treasure hunt. You cannot, in my, in our opinion, and we should know, uh, you cannot figure out the final location from home. Is that a good way to put it, Capro? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Um, is anyone close? No comment. So if you are emailing yeah. um, Mike or I, and it's mostly Mike, it is nice to get the updates. We have a slide on this, um, but we're not going to be telling anybody, oh, it's close or not close or any of that. Yeah. So we, we are, are not going to say no comment. Yeah. Some people were like, I don't want you to tell anybody how far along I am. We won't do that. We will not ever give, we won't, we won't say somebody's close. Somebody's done this. We won't do that. So what I would like you to do is send me your progress. No, no, I have a slide. I have All a slide right. for that. Okay. Okay, so the next one in, is it buried? That's already in the book, but some people have asked. We're going to make it very clear. No digging. <laughs> no digging. No so. digging. And Mike N, also at the back of the book on the rules section, is no water. You do not have to go through water. You do not, do not have to get wet. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, there we go. Oh, um, Truck and Treasure which says, I am having fun with the book. Truck and Treasure Scratcher has a YouTube channel where he's doing the lottery scratchers, everybody. You can play along with him. And I put it in the Discord. He gave a shout out to the book. So let me find that link. I'll put it in here as well. But go uh, go subscribe over there to Truck and Treasure Scratcher. He's a friend of ours. So here uh, is one that I'll let you uh, answer. Funny. What is the likelihood that a rando finds the proxy on accident? And would you know? Boom. A rando. Like a random person. Yeah, I understand. I understand the term. Uh, I just thought rando was funny. So uh, that's one of the no. reasons we're requiring when you email us uh, with the picture of the proxy, give us some sort of how did you how did you get there? Um, that's one of the reasons. There you go. Uh, I couldn't find it under but Randy, can everyone be nice tonight? Come on. I did a PowerPoint. Uh, right here is. The uh, truck and treasure scratcher. Uh, you can see the point. The point in the video right there where he gave a shout out. So thank you. Okay, and if you guys have more questions, I will go through the chat afterwards, and we'll right. build another PowerPoint um, on things that. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, next slide, sir. Is it buried? No. Email me. We. If this is how me and Capro have fun is by seeing the solutions that you guys have come up with, and uh, you know, and seeing how far how far you've progressed. And that might help us decide if we give hints or we don't give hints. So please email me. Let me know how you're doing. Also, we know for a fact that people are working in groups. So why don't you tell me who all is in your group? And again, we won't share it. We're not going to contact anybody. It just helps us as part of the fun. It helps oh, us. Mike more. has a blast. I will say Mike gets most of the emails and he has a blast. Over dinner tonight, he's like, let's go through this one. of you know, Then we kind of talked about it and he's having a lot of fun. So for yeah. Mike and Mike alone, just send them when you crack something. <laughs> like your ahas, that's his aha fun. Yeah. What's up, Kim? I remember you. Uh, no, it is not. Uh, well, where the Jingle Bell Rock was would be pretty funny if we actually left it there. Oh, but I guess I can't comment. Can't comment. No comment. Is it in El Dorado Park? All those areas are in Clark County. So if you guys look up Clark County, Nevada on a map, it's a big, big area, guys. And it could be anywhere within that. <laughs> the old Joe Louis Fist in Detroit. But it's not in Detroit. It's in Clark County, Nevada. 
Okay, back to the PowerPoint, sir. No, oh, sorry, sorry. We sorry. actually we need you guys involved in this next part, which is so yeah. cool. So email cool. me. Tell me if you're in a group. Tell me who's in the group. Tell me the progress you made. The biggest thing is tell me if you're having fun. All right. Yeah. Yes, errors in the book. And unfortunately, <laughs> there's a lot more errors in the book than we thought. You know, you go through this over and over and over, and I guess your brain just skips right over it. Yeah. So there are obviously unintentional errors and misspellings in the book. And how are we going to address that, Capra? So if you've bought in, we're going to send you an email. Like, I'll give you an example. It's crazy. We were talking about Sylvia in one of the chapters, and it says Cynthia. I don't know who Cynthia is, but it says Cynthia rather than Sylvia in the book. Um, that is an example of an unintentional um, typo. So after this show tonight, Mike has made a list of everything that we have been asked. And, the, and if it's an unintentional error, um, if there's a space off or whatever, we're not going to get into that. But if there is a, if there's a typo, we don't believe in red herrings, intentional, trying to deceive you. Um, so if you've asked and we're going to clarify the ones that are, we're sorry. And there's more than we wanted. I thought there was one or two tops. There's a few. And we want to make sure to clarify that very quickly for you. So you don't waste time on a typo. So we will, uh, instead of going over it here on the channel, again, we're only going to do it for the people who bought the book. So anybody who has bought the book, after this show, I'm going to email you a list of the errata, it's called, which are the errors in the book. You'll have the errors. Anybody who buys the book in the future will get the same email, and, uh, and we will add to that list as we need to. The way we've identified it is you. So email me and say, hey, this looks like an error. Now, if what you told me is not in our list I'm about to send you, well, then maybe it's not an error. Maybe it's intentional. That's part of the game. You got to figure that out. Uh, but I will send out that email to everybody on the list. And there's one person out there who bought in, but they haven't given me an email. So remember, guys, it says right in the rules of the book, you've got to register an email so you get information like this. And uh, yeah, they'll watch this. Send me an email so I can email you back. All right. Hey, Hooli just gave it up right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, was okay. the World Series of Fen poker hand in the book the real final hand from last year? I don't believe so. Yeah, no, it can't be. I don't think it's a real final hand. I don't remember the real final hand. Do you, K-Pro? Yeah, you're not supposed to be answering those kinds of questions. Well, that's, uh, yeah, anyway. Chasing Indy <laughs> says your biggest typo was knocking Bambi out in the first round. Somebody had to go, Candy. And then you were second. Technically, you were second. Uh, Raider Ryan was first. Okay, because he took himself out. Okay. No intentional red herrings. That's right. Um, boom, 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 boom. There we go. I'll go back over the chat later, guys, to answer questions. Okay, that's errors in the book. Go to the because we have some fun. We're adding to the prize pool tonight. That's Do right, Zozo. World, world renowned author has an error as well, so it's not just us. But you and can't he had Forrest dying in 2010. So, yeah, Chase but it's a bummer. Yeah. You know, how much Mike rushed me at the end. We weren't even supposed to release this until WSOF. I blame Mike. When in doubt, blame Mike. You, 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 you. Okay, Gray Ghost, what did you get, K Pro? Okay. K Pro so, got a gift and I didn't. What's up, Charles? I'll wait for mine later, I guess. <laughs> Just okay, so then. If you guys remember, we had a coin added into the invitation mm -hmm. and it looked a little bit like this, but that's not the one. That one's in the treasure chest over there. We got a package in the mail today. Davio supposedly sent something, so he thought it was Davio's. Oh, no. No, Davio, I haven't got oh, your no. thing. If you said something, I haven't got it. So um, there is a, a full note about, okay. So I'm going to read this. Christy, Andy spelled my name right. Christy, Jay Giles' Full House is a great album, but when you go live at the World Series of Fen, Frost, I mean Fen, <laughs> you're going to need a real full house or better. And he has this. Okay. Um, good. A good luck token can't hurt. This one is for you. So okay. he Hold on. It's called Go the ahead. siren, appropriate for you, as you're clearly the siren of the Cowling household, the World Series of Fen, the Grand Adventure, and whatever else you want to be siren of. Well, time for me to put on my detective hat and finish reading the Grand Adventure mystery. Snuff out the candle and think of the solution as I put my, as I put on some Giles. I don't know what Giles. 
Uh, Jay enjoy Giles. the big win. The great goat. Do you okay. even know who the Jay Giles band is, Centerfold? No. Oh, okay, so me. look look how cool this is. Okay, so on the one side, it's like the other one. But look, wait. Okay. That's three ounces of silver right there. Yeah, buddy. look how thick that is. But yeah. look on this side. That's it's not the, the pirate guy. It's the siren. Look it's at a the siren. siren. You know, siren that lure, lures sailors to their death. Yes. yes that kind yeah, of a siren. Don't mess with me, Calazars. So, awesome prize. The Grey Ghost, otherwise known as Charles. Thank you. Awesome that Thank you sent. You. No problem. Not me. Okay. So, and then there's you, the you that's all you care about. I totally. Um, yeah. So I wanted to say, th I was so excited. Um, yeah, there's, there's. <laughs> so she's happy. So that's going to be your card protector at World Series of Fen, right? It is. So all I can say is, JK Pioneer, you got to up your game, maybe. You know, <laughs> they were they were no one has to bring uh, me a present, protector. but I sure do love them. They are nice surprises. Yeah, okay. Thank you. We, we appreciate everybody that sent something. The address is scrolling on your screen right there. We will do a mail time whenever we get something in the mail. You know, if you have a book, if you have whatever. Um, you know, we'll we'll show it on the old program here. And uh, yeah, thank you for everybody who sent something in the mail. It got there early. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have another announcement. So okay, we one were... second. Don't write me a book, kid. All right, thank you. There you go. Soundboard's back. But we did write a book anyway. It go is ahead. Back. Double and See Detroit. I'm Detroit. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. okay. Um, so Mike and I went and met a searcher. His name is David. And mm -hmm. we're sitting and chatting and having this great dinner. And he says, you know, how he was in the Force Fen hunt. He's been watching us for years. Um, he actually had an accident. So he was only able to watch us for a while, kind of got him through. Um, and then he said, I'd like to go get a little something for you to add to your treasure hunt or whatever you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. And I told him after the fact, when he said, let me go get a little something the little, oh. Yeah, look at all the stuff in there. Okay, everybody. so why don't you, so so here's what we've done before you show the PowerPoint, Mike. Mm -hmm. There is so many little somethings, David, I cannot believe it. Um, so, we have decided to divide up his somethings. We're going to put half of it in the treasure chest for the, the invitation. invitation. Mm -hmm. And then the other half we're going to be, is going to be one of the prizes at WSOF. So we're giving it all away, everybody, which is what David wanted. Again, it's David Orozco. He lives here in Vegas. Uh, Live Victorious is his company, Live Victorious LLC. Thank you, David. That was pretty awesome. And we're about to show it right now so you guys can see all the cool yeah, stuff. So, and when you when we show it, I want you guys that are in the chat, Mike's going to put up a poll. Here he is. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, David! Hey, okay. what's up, David? So um, here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to either put A or B if you want it in the invitation prize pool. If you want it added, I'm going to take half of this and I'm going to put it inside that treasure chest, whichever one that we have the most votes for. There's some similarities, but there's some differences. So don't vote until we go over or Mike, don't put up the poll until we right. go over. Bring it up. Oh, I'm going to bring up a poll in the chat. Okay, got it. Yes, but bring Makes up sense. the PowerPoint first. I understand. Boom. Look at all those items, everybody. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now look at the key similarities and the key differences. So both sides have, if you guys don't know about this, this has been hitting the news because it's called the Nevada Goldback. There's gold this back. group that are trying to, it's actually made of gold. It's thin, pounded out gold, but gold, and there's two of these. So we put one in each side. So those are similar. Um, and it, it's interesting because you can look it up in the news. I was just looking at this. And then both sides also have a copper five ounce 999 fine copper see there's two of those so we put those on each side and then both sides have a uh coin 1907 and 1910 nickel it's like a really old coin in plastic so that was in both of them so now let's go into the differences so on the left, or it's my left anyway, you can see that there is a silver coin. Now, Mike, you know what this is. You you describe it. Oh, it's a buffalo. Uh, it's a buffalo head, right? Uh, buffalo head, one ounce silver round, I believe it's called. JK yeah. Pioneer. Where's JK Pioneer when you need them? Yeah. So this is this is how I'm going to do the poll because they see both. They see A and B. Which side should go in the invitation prize pool, A right. or B? 
So whichever okay. ones, whichever one wins in the poll, which is only going to be on YouTube. Sorry, Facebook. A or B will go in the invitation prize pool, and the loser of the poll will go into the World Series of Fen prize pool, right? Yes. Okay. Now okay. take down the PowerPoint for a second because I want everybody to see these. This is in the B one. Okay. So look at these. These are like they're, those, they're pounded out um like uh medallions or discs. Yes, they and they're price, they have necklaces yeah. and they match, which is super cool. So those that is in the B. And then okay, if you guys remember Christy the curator, she did these. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. Yeah. So that's show in there. Them the, show them the, the, the doodle and the signature from Forrest on the bottom. Pretty cool how she put these together. So there's the doodle and there's Forrest's signature. And these are from his collection. She got these from Forrest, correct? I uh, yeah, that I think was so. The case. I think there she bought one of the. From the estate of Forrest Fenn. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. And then, then we get to jewelry. So this one is the one in the small box. I don't know which side it is. It looks like it's an opal. Ah, yes, the opal. It looks like it. We're not gemologists. Again, everybody, vote A or B. All you have to do is say A or B. Which okay, one do you want to go? Went over it, he's having you guys vote. Okay. You so, have to hang on, Capro. You you need to just put A or B you, in the poll. You need to just select. Uh, I, did I put I yes was, or no? Yeah, I was going to uh, yeah, show I, everybody I what it is first, but that's okay. They well, they have a question on the poll because I did it wrong. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, we'll delete it and start again. Yeah, let me do a new one, guys. It'll be a little clearer. <laughs> Oops, okay. sorry. And then Go there's ahead. a frog. See the frog? And that's real emerald eyes. And then there's a ring that has blue stones and then earrings. That just looks so freaking cool. Okay, so open it back. Open the PowerPoint back up, please. Hang on. Everybody's and then I'll bring the picture back up so that you guys can look at it. The prize that should go in the invitation prize pool, A or B. There we go. A little yes. bit easier that way. Let me go back to the... Uh, there we go, everybody. A or B. Do you want in the invitation, which is for the winner, the, who finds our proxy for the invitation, the other one will go into the World Series event. To be yeah, so away. the one on the left has that silver... Um, buffalo mm -hmm. silver right here and has the two rings and the forest fen um piece and the one on the right has those two medallion things and then the frog with the emerald eyes and the other jewelry um i just thought this would be fun so you guys get away in so if you want the one on the left named a if you want that in the invitation and add it in you you vote a if you want it b you vote b so you get away in. I would like invitation. to go to invitation. for the invitation. What's going in the in the invitation? And yes, thank you, David. You are so generous. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you. And shout out to his company. What's his company name? Uh, Live Victorious, right? Do I have yes. that right? Live Victorious yes. LLC here in Vegas. Paul yes. Paul Seeker says he's confused. If you want A to go in the invitation, vote A. If you want B to go in the invitation prize pool, vote B. Yeah, I clarified it in the poll. So there we go. Yeah. They both have gold backs. They both have five ounces of copper. Copper, Dan, I'm looking at you. Um, there we go. And then you can see the other things. Uh, yeah. So pretty awesome. Thank you, David. Yeah. Like I said, David, when you say, I have a little something for you. It's setting expectations correctly because I almost fell out of my chair. This was so yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. Okay. All right. Next. Yeah, okay. And I'll leave it open for a little while. So yeah, here's leave it the open until we're done here. with the invitation. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. We are now going to do Monday and Thursday shows because the Treasure Hunt Amusement Park is just that big. So Mondays will be, I think, for Forrest Fenn and JCB. And Thursdays will be for the invitation. We'll only go live Thursdays if we have news, if we want to give updates, and maybe anything else. Uh, Thursday for the invitation. The other stuff will be Mondays. We're back to the good old days of doing two shows a week. Yes. Okay. Uh, so hopefully you guys will tune in to both days. And there we go. We are at the end of the invitation. So those, those of you who tuned in only for the invitation can drop off. But I think you might want to stick around because we have some breaking news for the JCB hunt. 
And I don't know what else Capro has on here. So who knows? Oh, also a little Netflix uh, clarification, right? Yeah. And we, and, and some other stuff maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to, since we're now That's shutting cool. down the invitation portion, do you mm -hmm. want to, let's give everyone the final five seconds to be able to vote. And then we are going to see, Church. I can't see the, cause I didn't vote. I can't see, is it close? No, it's not close. So there are 47 votes. A has 65%. B has 35%. So it sounds like everybody wants the A prize pool to go into the invitation. Nice. B will go into the World Series of Fen. I'll give you guys just a couple more seconds to vote. But yeah, it's pretty clear. 65% want A to go into the invitation prize pool and the poll. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So do you realize we've been There's doing this a week? We've been doing this a week and we already have two additions to the cash, to the, to the yeah, prize, to the booty. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Yeah, we do appreciate it for sure. Okay. okay. Let's so go the on. Next, to the breaking the news. Oh. So you have, which is which, right? You're going to put a into the invitation treasure no, chest. I'll have to look later. <laughs> Okay, right. so now we're not discussing the invitation anymore because the people need to that want to drop off are dropping off and they don't have to listen to all of this. So we are not talking invitation anymore. If you have questions, put them in the chat. I'll go through them later. The chase. Um, let's talk the chase, baby. Who's so, that? That's um, Sylvia. And I've heard Sylvia is in Las Vegas. New Mexico. New I just Mexico. heard Birdie yeah. say that. She's in, wait, Manta Say. She's in Manta Say, maybe. Where, where, who, why? I'll let her explain, but yikesy, yikes. Okay, so Netflix. Let's talk Netflix for a second. So the- Or Flexi, as we call it. Yeah, Flexi, as we call it in our book. So I had thought incorrectly. I had heard June 1st was the date that Netflix was going to be out. So I thought they were going to start marketing now. Mm -hmm. June 1st is the date. And this has now been clarified with several people that are in the project. Uh, Jared's team, Nomadica and Vox, and now the editing team, owes the final product to Netflix on June 1st. They still have to translate it, get it scheduled, get it marketed, etc. So at the earliest, we are going to see it in August. Though Gumshoe, who is a partner with this team, said maybe even 2025. So to be clear, June 1st was always the deadline for the company to get it to Netflix. That hasn't changed. We thought that meant Netflix was going to present it in June. No, Netflix needs a couple months to do their thing before they put it out. So. Well, and the other breaking news is one of the searchers that are in it, um, they were filmed in the last week by wow. the Netflix crew. So they are, and I did have a little bit of an exchange with the person and gum street, not shoe. See, I thought it was gum street and I got corrected by Cynthia that it's gum shoe. Anyway, well, let's look it up. Okay. You guys look it up right. as, um, so, um, it seems that they are in final editing and this is the time where they have beta viewers watch it and they'll say, Ooh, this is really interesting. Or one of the higher ups say, I want you to go film this person again and clarify this or that or the other. And that's what they're doing at this time. So they're still working. I can't believe they're still filming, but they are still filming. Um, There's a question for you, Capro. Why has Cynthia been letting Capro say June all this time then? So Cynthia said it wasn't her place to correct me. Because if she leaks out information to me and then I put it out, she might not get it from Jared in the future. Yeah. But then she went on Discord and she said all of this. So uh, it's a good question. I asked her that. I was like, so I've been saying it wrong. And she's like, well, it's not my place to correct you. I'm like, the F it is. <laughs> so they have been filming for years. And I would hope that just means it's going to be a better production. But that they sent somebody out back out to film again. That's interesting. Crazy. I think that's interesting. So. And I will show this for everybody who's interested. If you think we're just making this stuff up, it is Gum Street Productions, gumstreetproductions.com. And there it is. Treasure Hunters on Netflix to be determined. There it is. There's the executive producer, two executive producers, producer, and all that fun stuff. So Treasure Hunters, Netflix to be determined. And that's the guy who happened to be out that way during GPS. And that's when yeah, he was Justin, with you. Guys. Yeah, he went with us. He was not there, I don't believe, when they refilmed it with another person and took me out of it. 
There you go. Okay, let's go back. Um, so that's the Netflix update. It's not delayed. It's always been the plan that he owes the, the they owe the doc to Netflix June first. So it's let's been delayed it over the years. It just years. seems like forever. Just like Jens is done. Jens actually, you know, okay, now going on to this. There's treasure inside. So we went breaking news on Saturday. I know some people weren't happy with me. They're like, why are you sharing that? Only a few of us know it, and we want there's no advantage to the website. Yeah. So, I mean, it's public information. There's no secret hints. So I apologize to those. We found it, but I apologize to those of you that wanted to wait and not share it publicly. It's kind of what we do. And I don't think it had any advantage in it. So um, I'm sorry to those of you that are a little testy with me. Um, You'll have to get over it. Wait till the end here. K-Pro found something interesting. I found something. Okay. (laughs) So um, the really cool part is if you go up on our Discord, G has put a, we have a pinned thread. And from this picture and the picture that's now on treasureinside.com, it has more stuff and they have a huge spreadsheet. So this is a question to all of you in here and to Mike. So it says on the website that one box has the lion's share of the treasure. And then there's four other boxes that have a little bit smaller of a treasure in it. So if you look at this picture, I'm assuming that that is one prize, but I might, that might be a wrong assumption. And that totals around $1.55 million. So that would mean the other four would each be about a hundred thousand each. I don't know if that's a good assumption to make. Do you think everything that's in that picture there is going to be in one cache or do you think that's all five caches? I think that's all split up. I don't think all that's in one cache. Okay. Okay, well, then what I say up above is right. So, out I mean, of the, yes, we don't know. It's a guess. Yeah. So, out of the $2 million, G and a bunch of other really smart people have been finding out where these items have gone for auction and how much they were. They have figured out about 1.5 million, almost 1.6 million of dollars of the items have gone. So, mm-hmm. so there you have it. Now, this is super interesting. At the bot, at the treasure inside, it says if you have questions to email, Info at treasureinside.com. And why I must go, shout out to why I must go's channel. Um, he asked the question about an armchair hunt. So let's go to it and then we'll go back. Go ahead, Mike, read that. Okay. So Troy, as we all know him, why must I go? Emailed them about, is this a tre- armchair treasure hunt? And this is the response. Hi, Troy. Thank you for your question. You are correct. There are different definitions of armchair treasure hunt. From our understanding, John Collins Black does not refer to this treasure hunt as an armchair hunt and has only said that the book can take someone to a close proximity of the treasures. This implies that having someone searching on the ground would still be necessary to to, to finding the treasures. If you have someone who can search for you, then that might be something to look into. However, without that, it might not be possible for you to locate the treasures. John Collins Black will most likely be doing public interviews between now and the launch of the book in which he may speak to this question more directly. Thank you again for reaching out and have a pleasant day. Support. Okay, so a couple takeaways that I have is one, it's not an armchair, but two, this is obviously not JCB, so he obviously does have a team working with him on this. And number three, very exciting, he's going to be doing some additional information uh, interviews, whatever that looks like. I know Mike says, oh, that's a no-brainer. No, it's not. He could be totally recluse. So this is confirmation, independent confirmation. So yeah, he said it cost him $2 million to buy it all. So by now, yeah. it's probably worth more. I yeah, know Greg, it's in the up. Q&A of the Treasure Inside website. It's like, how much is it worth? He said he bought an auction about $2 million, but the items are so rare, they could only be going up and up type of thing possible guys we just don't know what the distribution will be between the five treasures so i don't know okay go back one slide please backward yes okay okay so that was okay now another searcher emailed and said and so they are responding to these info uh emails another searcher said um i'd like my book signed uh can i get my book signed when when it's sent to me and they said no because it comes directly from Amazon, but JCB may be doing a book tour at the launch for the pre-purchase books. So you could have a book available when he does this tour that he may. So in other words, if you bring your book, he might sign it. Yes. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. 
Yes. Um, you know, this is a point that we talked about too. Greg says two million is not millions and millions. Uh, it's a sticky point. If you want to get into semantics, I mean, come on, guys. Two million isn't big enough treasure hunt for you. It's big enough for me. No, I don't, care. I don't think and thousands gonna... upon thousands. I'd be happy with what this treasure is. Right. But it is important. I, I do think it's maybe a little bit of marketing spin. I'm not going to hate on them for it, but it is a little because if you say millions, that would be more than one. So it's at least two upon millions. That would be two. So the minimum would be four <laughs> if you use logic. Um, I'm not saying you that, people <laughs> well I what understand. if you said billions and then you're like oh it's okay. <laughs> right. at least it's a million i mean i understand you know us we're gonna pick apart every word um yeah okay so go back all right hang on there we go how dare you only give away two million <laughs> yeah, exactly and it's not even two million it's all these awesome items i mean you know value upon value okay by the time, hey, Sam says by the time it's found, it could be millions and millions. What if we're, this takes 10 years to find, like Forrest Fens? I mean, I think we're assuming it's going to be found next year. We don't know that. You know, that, that's true. That's a good point, Sam. We don't know what the value is because it just keeps going up. There right. you go. Well, and somebody was like, you keep saying millions upon millions, so you're an insider with JCB, and you know, and I'm like, no, it, it's literally from his book. Okay, this is breaking news in my opinion. Yeah, this is pretty good. I didn't catch it. The Bitcoin could be a million in 10 years. That's right, or at least a couple hundred grand. Okay, this is some breaking news from K-Pro. K-Pro, you did this yourself? You didn't get it from anybody? Nope, this all by all right. myself. You went through the email. Check it out, everybody. Now, we know about the David Frost, Robert Robert Frost um issue error whatever you want to call it and on amazon after everybody talked about it it's the wrong author they've put up two pictures one with the right name with the wrong one with the wrong name but if you look in the paragraphs below it they change things in the paragraph as well that i did not realize go ahead or you want me to read it Caper? no you can read it my eyes are off so so the one that says david frost which is the not the author of the road not taken it says one of my earliest treasure hunting memories was in the summer of 1980 but when he corrected it to Robert Frost, he changed that to one of my earliest treasure hunting memories took place the summer I was seven. So he took, he changed summer of 1980 to the summer I was seven. A small two-bedroom suburban home to a small three-bedroom suburban home. What's going on here? We so don't know. Two different, so here's something interesting. So the two di or several the differences is removing 1980 and changing two to three. Those are all numbers. The changes are numbers. It's GPS, <laughs> Mike. It's GPS. That would be awesome if it's GPS. Um, yeah, that is interesting. Is he giving us a preview of what he's doing in the book? Is he giving us a hint? Again, you can go to the Amazon link right now and you see both of these are up there together. Does that mean both of these pages are in the book and there's like a false page and a good page? Is this how he's doing clues? <laughs> There's a lot of uh, interesting questions. I don't think it's an accident. I do think this is on purpose. JCB, you're trying to tell us something. K-Pro was smart enough to point it out. I knew about the author change. I did not realize the paragraph change was different. <laughs> oh, pretty cool. It is a game. I think GPS this is equals, oh, God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it may be nothing. I just think it's in or anytime you see an aberration, something different. Yeah. How um, could it be nothing? I mean, yeah, you don't put up stuff like that and have them both there right next to each other. And I want to show everybody in case they're like, no, -uh. no, it is here. Let me go. Let me go there and show. It Wait, quick. what are they like? No, uh, -uh. that's what they say. That's what they're saying right now. So if you, this is Amazon, this is where you pre-order the book, everybody. There's treasure inside. Yes. The book costs $50 and for a $2 million treasure hunt, I'll pay $50 and not complain. So right here, it used to be, uh, this is the right one with Robert Frost. And there it is, the summer I was seven. And right next to it, they left it up. Right next to it is they left it up. It, David Frost, the summer of 1980. So why would you, even if one was a mistake, you go, oh, okay, we're going to change it. They left both up. The right one and the wrong one is there for a reason. Got to be for a reason. Got to be. And it's that is be. breaking news. So there you go. But, but that doesn't leave, deserve a thumbs up. Nothing does. They didn't leave the white X picture that now we know is the cover of the book. They didn't right. leave that wrong one up. It was different. Half of it was different. Yeah, interesting. It's just interesting. It's just we're pointing it out. That's what we do. 
we're trying to help you find one of the treasure boxes if we can't find it ourselves. Yeah, and all we and, want is one of the coins or a Bitcoin or something that's in it. Oh, yeah. That's all, just a Bitcoin. Uh, I will say this to Troy, why must I go? I would still buy the book because what if you read it and it says the book will get you in close proximity of the treasure. Debatable on what that means. But you're telling me if you can't at least figure out the city where this thing is, you just have somebody go for you. I mean, do you and just not participate? You just that. What's that? There's a lot of complications to that. Well, there is. And how do you split it? And are they trustworthy? I get it. There are some issues, but I would still buy the book. But yeah, yeah, he says good point. Yeah, I mean, what if it's in your state? And what if you have a trusted friend? That, like, hey, go, family member, you know, whatever. But let me flip it. What yeah. if he just starts putting all of his thoughts out there and somebody gets it because of him and like Jack to dig and gypsy. I'm sure dig and gypsy got a huge part of the treasure chest. Troy then would get something sent in the mail to him anonymously thanking him. He could just pontificate <laughs> on YouTube and not even participate. Anonymously thanking him, thanking him. Well, you don't put it out publicly or do you? That's a good question. When this book comes out, are we going to go live and publicly talk about the clues that we find and stuff or so Mike and I had that discussion after this Saturday, I got um, some people not happy with me for sharing the public website. So I think if it's something public, if we're looking for it, I'm mm -hmm. not giving away our solve. I'm not giving away our hints. Right. Um, publicly, what we're going to do is bring news to you guys. Hopefully it goes on John's website or his YouTube. And then we just talk about what we think it means, but kind of like what Mike used to do, like, what does WWWH mean? A little, his little coffee and all that. We'll put out some of our opinions, but we'll probably be wrong. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a point, Troy. Uh, well, the other thing is we're definitely going to do a book review. So anybody that's on the fence about buying it, uh, as soon as we get it, we will go live. I'm talking about the second we get it, we're going to go live. Show the book. Maybe kind of show some pages. You know, and once we read it, we'll, uh, we'll uh, go live and talk about it. So... Aha, uh -huh. Ken Oklahoma using logic has determined an important possibility regarding the treasure chest. You guys remember looking at pictures of the chest, they don't appear to be watertight. So, in my opinion, they are, will be above the ground. Good, good yeah. point. Although they look metal and that, that blacksmith, I wonder if they are watertight. I mean, I don't know if they're watertight or not. Well, and it was a good point. Somebody else was saying about if there's like um, Jordan card and there's like paper in there. Won't it disintegrate over time? That's why Forrest took out all the notes. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's the question. I, um, hey, Mock Smith says, did anyone ever follow up with the olive jar guy? Never heard anything. So, Mock Smith, if you don't know, I don't know if you're joking or not, but JCB with a million-dollar treasure hunt, that is the guy who bought the olive jar. Yeah. So I cannot imagine the olive jar is not involved in some way. I mean, what I, I have heard, what yeah. I have heard, and this is just – Capro rumor, don't take it for anything more than that. Is JCB opened the, the olive jar with Jens? Jens's doc is mostly about Forrest Fenn. And then the kickoff to his book and his treasure hunt is was also discussed in because Forrest kind of inspired it and all of that. And he has some items that are from the Forrest Fenn chest. So he discusses that in Jens's doc, which now Jens can't delay for more years. From what I understand, he has to have that out before the launch of the book, which we all know is October 21st. So October 20th at midnight is probably when Jens will finish up his doc. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, another question. Why must I go? It says, uh, if there are five chests, does that mean JC's, JCB's book has five solutions? Yes. In my opinion, yes. He says, all you need is the book, and there are five locations in five different states. I hope the book is divided up. And just where they're separated, that would be helpful. We don't know if it will well, be that. Way yeah, is it going to be five chapters or five units in the book? And there's five, or are they going to be intermingled? How is that going to look? We don't know. I mean, I'm assuming yes, right. they're all going to be in the book, but that'll get kind of confusing quick. And what does that look like? We don't know yet. That's all we can do is just maybe the missing, the included or missing uh, numbers. 1980 was just <laughs> right. the lead in. Do you see? And will they change any more pictures on Amazon? And maybe it's a, it's a, it changes the word. So everybody should do screenshots in case they change them. But good catch, K-Pro. If anybody, maybe somebody else knew that and just didn't share it. But as far as we know, this is the first public disclosure 
of the two words that are different in the uh, the paragraph. So pretty cool. Yay! Pretty cool stuff. 1987, two bedroom, three bedroom. 1987, two, three. 1980. It's a phone number. No. 1980. It's a GPS. Seven, two, three. Is seven. Ooh, it's seven digits. Where's the area code? Anyway, we can go down that rabbit hole forever. And that's what the videos are going to be about, I think, that we hey, make. Hey, Shannon, make sure that, Sophie, you watch earlier the first half an hour of the show. And there's some pretty easy ciphers that we go over just to show her kind of how it works. Well, everyone, yeah. but show her specifically. I know she's working on it. Okay. Ignore the soundboard for that super chat. Blame 3D Bronze. Don't blame me. Okay. Um, yeah, we give, we give up a puzzle. We also give up uh, the location of the proxy, uh, meaning general. a general location. Yeah, we yeah. give up the state. Okay. K-Pro's got too much time on our hands. Well, it's only a $2 million treasure hunt. I don't think that's too much time. I think that's a you dedicated see, He treasure encourages hunt. me for bad habits. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know about this. She just put it in there and didn't tell me about it. So cool stuff. Let's just say it's only been the last two hours that that PowerPoint surfaced. Well, paid. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. So there it is. And there it is. Anybody remember first Bueller at the end when he says, you're still here? It's over. Go home. I remember sitting in the theater watching it. 1980, was it? Somewhere around there, 82? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, but that's it. Um, the invitation. And uh, tonight, in the next 30 minutes, I will send out the errata or all the errors, unintentional errors, and the invitation to everybody that's bought the book. The book is still available, everybody. Here's the other thing. If you live in Las Vegas, I'm more than happy to meet you and give you the book, and you give me cash. That's how it works in a capitalistic society uh the book is 30 is uh well 30 dollars. let's just round it up 29.95 so if anybody wants it here in vegas we have them available or you can still order it and i'm happy to ship it to you too there's like five people here in vegas who just wanted me to ship it to them they got it the next day and that's what i did so there, there you, you go. go so to recap we had some awesome stuff on the invitation awesome and thank you to david and thank you to gray ghost thank you for presents we love presents so thank you for all of that. And then we did have Netflix update and we got to figure out where Sylvia is. <laughs> I don't know if Sylvia's in, let's see, Manta say or not right now, as we speak right now. So Mock Smith, we have a discord and in the discord, we have a channel dedicated to Dracy B's hunt. And that would be a place uh, to share info if you want to. Um, there'll be other places, but that's yes. one. Well, and what I think will happen is kind of what we're doing right now and we've done for years. Well, Discord's only in a year or two now is we do our show on Monday and then right after our show, we all go into the speakeasy and we all chit chat about it anywhere from 20 to, I think we had like 80 people the one night. It was crazy. Um, and usually only three or four or five talk. A lot of people just like to be in the peanut gallery and eat their popcorn and listen. You don't have to. Um, talk if you don't want to, and yeah, Discord and is about the peanut gallery. Um, why must I go? I stopped playing Diablo. I play StarCraft 2 against the AI because I just do it every day for fun, and then PUBG. I didn't think it again. Oh, you Hell downloaded Diver. a new one, but I've been boys. playing Helldiver. No, I didn't. That was Fortnite. But anyway, I might get into Helldiver. That's like a new one that's out now, but that's about it. I stopped playing Diablo 3. I don't know why it was a good game, I just stopped playing it. Uh-oh, Troy's got a gigabit internet connection. So, yeah, you can play a lot now. Okay. Um, I don't even know what that means. Gigabit. I think that's it. I will email everybody. Remember, if you want the book, just reach out to me, cowlasers at gmail.com, and we will get the book into your hands. Proxy's still there in the hot, hot sun and the cold, cold night, waiting for somebody to find it. Did I just say it was outside? Maybe I did. Okay. Um, it's in the hot, hot sun. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, that's it, everybody. Yeah, Hell Divers is fun. I need to check it out. I haven't bought it yet, but I might. I have some friends. No, Angie, she lives in Cynthia, Sylvia. She lives in Las Vegas, Nevada. She lives like three miles from me. We both got our big CU checks and we bought big houses right next to each other. Um, and now she's in Manta, say, New Mexico. She's actually in Las Vegas, which is even funnier. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Where is Sylvia right now? Cynthia, where is I Cynthia? I don't know. I have no idea. Because it's none of my business. How about that? Well, maybe it should be your business if you knew where she was and what she was doing. Yeah, maybe. 
There's an old saying in the news game. Yeah, right. That's what I got to say about that. I love okay. it. I'm so excited the soundboard's back. I'm soundboard's so excited. Back. Remember, guys, email me. Let me know how your progress is. Let me know what you figured out. Let me know what you're stuck on. You know, if enough people say we all just don't get this, maybe I can talk K-Pro into giving a hint down the road. But maybe not. We'll see. We'll see not how right now. Not right I think now. People are making progress. Yeah. I mean, I, some people are making progress. Some people are making good progress. Some people are making slow progress. I don't know what that means. I mean, we kind of do know what that means, but we're not going to say it. We're not going to say someone's on it. I mean, some people are talking about boots on the ground. I don't know if they're joking. They're serious. I don't know where they're at, but um, yeah. No more clues or hints. Exactly. Stop yeah, giving away stuff I already found. Yeah. We are going to be waiting two months before giving any more hints um, or clues um, if it is not found by two month anniversary is when we, the first time we consider it, but we'd also need to know <coughs> where people are hung up. So that's why maybe once a week or if you crack something big, email Mike and say, this is what we found. You guys know there's lots of little things and then there's some big things. So it's not just a, you nah. find one thing and you crack it and that's it. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we may go live Thursday if we have some more info about the invitation, or we may not. Uh, I will set up the link, and everybody that has bought the book, I will email them to let them know before before we start the live stream. If oh, not, Paul Seeger says there. if we can wait two months, he'll eat his hat. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> to give out a oh, to give out a hint. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. All right, we'll Come see. All right, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Good luck with the invitation. We'll see. I'll leave you guys with this. And that's the way I grew up, and that's the way I'm on a bait. Exactly. All right. See you guys. Good catch. Nice to be, K-Pro. It's pretty awesome.